and let me just sort this out. Right, so I'll give it a uh, give it about five minutes or so, and then I'll have a little look, and we'll start doing some felting. Just waiting, seeing if anybody comes in. Let's have that. Hmm. I don't know if anybody is anybody there. Hey. Hi, Catherine. Right. I don't. I didn't. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Here. I'm just hoping. Hello. Can everybody hear me? All right. Is everything? Brill. Oh well. At least I got on. How How is everyone? Is everyone doing all right? What have y'all been up to today? just gonna pop that up there and then I can keep an eye on the comments and fab great brilliant Whew. so this is a bit scary this I was a bit um yeah a bit nervous um but I think like I've spoke to a couple of you and I feel like I'm among friends so hopefully you'll all be nice and kind to me and Oh, what what are you what are you making, Jules? Christmas cards or hi, Leanne. So I'll just quickly say hello. So we've got hi, Catherine. Hi, Sylvia. Ross. Hello, uh, Jules. Kitch. Catherine. I've said Catherine. Um, Jenny, Leanne, and Barbara. Joan. Brill. Right, um, oh fab, I, I've, I was supposed to make Christmas cards for everybody this year and I just, I think I've made about three. I actually was a bit naughty and bought some the other day. Um, <laughs> oh, Christmas magnets. Yeah, I this year I had every intention this year of making everybody's presents. Um... But it just didn't happen. I'm going to have to take my top off. I'm a bit warm. Whew. All these people. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking, um, while we were chatting and things tonight, I thought if I could just do some needle felting. Um, so I've got three things. So I thought, if I show you the three things and then maybe see what, what we could, what you're fancying, well, I'll just grab them. Yeah, I thought we could make like a another little bauble. Um, or there's like a like a little Christmas tree bauble. Hello, Ion. Or another Santa Christmas card. So I've sorted out all the. Um... Oh, your robin was a disaster. Why was it a disaster? Mind my uh, my first attempt at a robin was <laughs> he didn't go to plan either. Yeah, I like these little I like these little trees and they're really easy. I've done them in uh, I did enough, enough different couple of colours as well. And what else have I got there? Oh, a chicken. <laughs> well, it could be a Christmas chicken. So, yeah. So, I don't know what... Do you think... Do you think... Um... Oh, weekend in Camden. That'd be nice. I haven't been to London or anywhere down south for ages. I think the furthest me and Ross have been lately is... Probably Lincolnshire. 
Right, so... Okay, okay, right. We'll do a tree then, shall we? We'll do a tree. I'll grab me air uh, bits, one sec. Oh, I've um, thrown everything. Yeah, I thought if I just show you what I've, what I've got and then if any of you have got any wool or anything and you want to just felt along then feel free. But um, I've just got some regular car wool. Um, I don't if you don't if you're not really into needle felting. It's just all it is is just wool that hasn't been spun. Um, so it's just like all matted together really. It's just not not been like spun off. I've just got some different colours to do all our little bits. And then I'm just gonna use I've got some two different strings. So we'll decide when we get to the end. It's not a puffer fish, Ross. It's in Robin. Right, so yeah, so I, don't, I thought if I just felt along and then if um, if anybody's got any questions or feel free to tell me, you know, what, what, what you're up to for Christmas or, you know, what plans have you got? I'm just going to use a, uh, like a medium needle, a medium coarse needle. And I'm literally, all I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see that, I'll move that camera a little bit. There, and then at least you can see a little bit of what I'm doing. Hey Corey, glad you could make it too. Right, so I'm just literally going to squish it up into a little ball and then just start. If you if you don't um really know about needle felt in it, it works with the I don't know if you'd be able to see that, but the needles have got like little barbs on them. Probably can't see to be fair. Um and, and what they do is as you push the needle into the wool and it pushes all the fibres together and they like all felt and knit together. Um yeah, so I'm just at the minute I'm just just Getting it all together really, creating just a small ball shape. So it's so good to actually get to, to chat with. Oh, thank you, Leanne. I've, um, I've lost one though, unfortunately, and I can't find it anywhere and I didn't have time to do another one. Oh, thank you, Corey. Just gonna have a little drink of water. I'm a bit, a bit warm. So what have what have um what have you all been up to today? I haven't really been up to um a lot today, really. Um, where did we go? No, <laughs> I haven't been anywhere today, to be honest. Um, I had my scan yesterday. Um, I don't know if you, you might have caught um, my video last night. Uh, it went really well. Um, obviously, you don't find out anything, do you? So it's, you can see that it's all now starting to stick together. Oh, what are you knitting, Barbara? I, I, I'm not a very good knitter. I can knit basic. I can do a basic knit stitch and a basic purl stitch, but I'm not very good at sticking to patterns, really. Oh, Sunday. Oh. I know we didn't have a Sunday lunch today. Um, I've left Ross's um, making chicken at the minute. Would you, I think we're just going to have some chicken and stuff in and gravy sandwiches yeah that's me jewels that knit one drop one <laughs> oh formula one 
um, back in the 50s, my um, granddad used to be a racing driver. He used to race with Sterling Moss and things like that. So, but to be honest, I don't, I don't really watch it. My mum used to watch it. My mum used to really, really love it. And we don't really watch a lot of sport on TV. Well, Ross watches football. Um, and we watch the boxing. So just see, just like it's starting to come together now as a little ball. So I'll just keep keep felting it, and then it'll just it'll firm up and smooth off around the edges. So I'll just keep keep doing that just while we're. Oh, <laughs> okay, Leanne, go and be referee, Craigie. Oh, I don't miss that. Like when my girls were younger, they used to fight like cats and dogs. Them to them three, more so. It was more so. Kate was normally involved. Kirsty and Sophie weren't too bad, but it was usually Kate and Kirsty or Kate and Sophie or. Oh hi, Becky! I'm so glad you made it too. Just as anybody, I don't, where, so where, where is everybody from? I know, like, obviously where a few of you are from. Because um, I know it was tricky picking a time because, obviously, we're in the UK, but, like you say, you know, a few of you are, like, I mean, there's a couple of ladies from Australia, New Zealand, and it's so hard getting the, oh, right, so Netherlands, Minnesota, oh, yeah. So what time is it over in um, Minnesota then, at the minute? I'm assuming the Netherlands, they'll just be an hour, an hour out from us, will you? Are you? Oh, Ethan, just down the road. Oh, Sylvia. What beautiful part of the world to live in. I always wanted to move to France. I tried to convince Ross it was a good idea. He was having none of it. <laughs> ah, right. Oh, I didn't know Portugal were the same. Same time. <laughs> so it's 12, 11. Right, crikey. And... Oh, yeah. On oh, Cardiff. I've got a lot, quite a lot of family in Cardiff, in Wales. Um, My mum's, on my mum's side are uh, from Wales. And my mum's dad's side are from Scotland. What are we making? We're making, I'm making a ball, but I'm supposed to be making a tree. <laughs> I started a ball, but I was supposed to be making one of these. But it's okay. I'll start again. <laughs> That'll come in handy for next time. Yeah, so the tree, like you say, I'm just going to roll that. Try and like roll it up into almost like a tree type shape. And then I'm just going to hold it in place and start and felt that together. That'll teach me. That's because I'm watching the chat and not concentrating on what I'm doing. Yeah, around three. <laughs> That'll teach me, won't it? <laughs> so, um, how's um, how's the weather been everywhere as well? Because we've had quite quite bad weather, haven't we, in the UK? I'm not sure if what anywhere else in the world's been like for storms and you know, some some people are still lucky, aren't they? You know, live in places where it's lovely and sunny and so I'm just as I'm trying to felt this, you can see it's kind of starting to take a and just I'm felting it more at 
this end where I want it to be thin and just kind of working up it. Let's have a little. Oh. Yeah, definitely perfect weather for staining and making magnets. I know that's... I mean, I don't... I don't go out very often, but it, it is just freezing, isn't it, when you do go out? Oh, I had, uh, Mary's a knitter. I, I was just saying there, I'm not a, a good knitter. I can do the basics. I can make a quite good scarf. <laughs> um, and crochet as well. I taught myself to crochet, but... Again, that's just very basic. I keep starting. I'll, I'll make little squares. And then I'll never do anything with them. I'll just end up with squares. So, yeah, starting to get no more. More of a tree shape. Oh, Surrey. I've never been to Surrey as well. That's supposed to be a really nice part of the UK, isn't it? Called up 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 north. It's rain. I think it's raining as well. Ross has not long got back with the dogs and. Oh, can you crochet as well, Jenny? Uh, like you say, I'm very very basic. Very basic with it, but I do. I I, I love. I, I love the thought and um, quilting as well. I made um, when Esme was born. Uh, me and Kate made her a, a little quilt with all her first, like, clothes. Yeah, go on, Jules. Yeah, have a go at a tree. The thing, this is, this is, I think this is the thing I like with needle felt in that it's, it's very forgiving, it's, like, like you say, with knitting and crochet, it's very obvious to see mistakes, isn't it? But I think with with needle felting, it's just a bit more forgiving. I think you can you can hide mistakes. I think easier and so yeah. I thought that's what you meant. <laughs> I know when um, when you put that comment, Sylvia, when it said um, that you can sew a bit, it came up, it, it asked me if I was okay to put it on. But I knew what you meant, so it was all right. <laughs> I think they just thought you were being rude. So I, I wanted to, um, obviously I wanted to come on tonight as well to, just to thank everybody really and just the amount of like like I say love and support that um I've had since I started this channel in I think it was July when I started um my inspiration for starting it was actually Philippa I don't know if you've seen her channel um felt by Philippa and she's so good and it was her that inspired me to 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 do this really to get started needle felting and then I just, I'd wanted to, to to share my story like before, but there was just never the opportunity. And then it just, it just seemed the right thing to do. And I'm so glad I have because it, you know, I feel like it's really helping me. Um, and I've, I've had like messages as well from like, you know, quite a few people saying that, you know, that they've got a few issues and they've gone now gone to the doctors and things like that which is amazing and you know that that was the whole one of the whole reasons of starting like the channel um was to raise awareness and try and encourage people to be advocates like for themselves to because i, I don't feel I, I didn't stand up for myself and i should have um and i think it's amazing now that you know, I've got this platform to be able to do that and, and share that with everyone. And even, I even thought, I'll have a little tipple while I'm with y'all just to celebrate. So I've got a little Baileys. Well, I say a little Baileys, it's not really little. <laughs> so I'm just going to have a little bit of this. 
I've got my water as well, so I'll be all right. <laughs> I won't be falling off the chair. I'll just check these comments. Oh, thank you, Jenny. I appreciate that. Um, how long have I been working with wool? About eight months. <laughs> yeah, I think it was probably about eight months ago. No, maybe maybe longer than that actually. Probably about a year. Oh, thank you, Sam. New York. How how's things in New York? A bit's a bit chilly there. Oh hi, Dean. Glad you could make it. Oh yeah. Go on, Barbara. Have a Bailey's. It's the only time of year that I really drink Bailey's, but it definitely uh, it's a nice little uh, Christmas tipple, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm just still don't can you see that okay what well, I'm I'm just literally just trying to get like the tree shape is um everybody who um, celebrates Christmas and everything is everybody prepared and ready or I'm definitely not oh oh I'll check yeah I'll check that out YouTube two ladies took an old school bought it back life in North Dakota just to teach people about wool oh yeah that's really good that I'll have a look at that yeah oh that'd be really interesting Oh, thank you, Leanne. I really appreciate it. And I love your channel as well. Go check out Leanne's channel. That's brilliant. She has some really good hauls and everything. You're not ready, Charlene. What are you not ready for? Yeah, I bet it is. Oh, thank you. I hope it does. Hope I can continue spreading awareness and and obviously I am gonna be like vlogging my journey and it you know I know it, it will get tough there will be tough times and but it honestly like I said it 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 helps so much having such you know such lovely people behind me supporting me and I know when I'm feeling a bit down and a bit low that you know I can come on and have a chat and you know you're all just so understanding and oh no I don't like wrapping either jewels uh, Leanne's channel she does it's like a, a lifestyle channel she does hauls um, vlogs things like that it's really good definitely go check her out she, she's such a lovely lovely lady as well and she's funny she makes me laugh um, well done Barbara all done and wrapped yeah yeah you can um you can get needle holders um one sec oh yeah you can get like um little like wooden holders so you can hold it like that instead which is easier if you but I think because I just switch from different needles it's just easier to but I think especially when you first get started it is easier to I might as well use it now I've put it in oh, 
No, I don't like wrapping. I always, I always love it when I see my my daughter, my eldest daughter, Kirsty. Um, she always goes, you know, like really like posh fancy with them, and there's all the ribbons and little bits and you know, little bits of twigs and pine cones and all sorts. They, they always look really lovely. Yes, definitely. Welcome, men to the whole world. Definitely. Ross has had a go. Ross loves it. Ross um, was doing one of them little Father Christmas cards as well. Um, how am I feeling today, Leanne? Uh, yeah, a bit less nervous. Yeah, I still feel... <laughs> but yeah, I definitely feel less nervous now. I just need to remember I'm just chatting with friends, aren't I? And, you know, it... it I know, 25, that's amazing. I can't believe it. I thought I'd be sat I thought I'd be sat here on my own with Caden watching me. <laughs> thank you, honestly, thank you for for watching and coming and supporting me. I really honestly I do appreciate it so much. And I've got um my scan results on the 14th of December, uh, which is my birthday, so I'm hoping it's gonna be a nice a nice present um i have been worrying a bit about a few little i've had a really really bad back the last couple of weeks and it just doesn't seem to be shifting so i'm just hoping that's not anything untoward really but trying not to just trying to stay positive really and i'll deal with it when we deal with it and We'll deal with what we have to at the time, won't we? And Ah, hello, Jackie. Who cooks Christmas dinner? Well, I would, I would quite happily cook Christmas dinner. I, I, I enjoy cooking Christmas dinner, but our house is quite little and we don't have a dining room. We've only got like a, a little tiny back room. Um, and... Because there's quite a few of us, there's normally my mum and dad, um, Kate and her boyfriend and Esme. There's me, Ross and Caden. And then there's quite often Kirsty and her boyfriend and Sophie and her boyfriend. So we just don't, we just don't have the room here. Yet. Um, we normally go to my mum's because she has a bit more room in her uh, back room. But Kate actually at the minute is getting a new kitchen fitted. So I think... We might be going there if she gets it done in time. I don't know if she might have been on tonight, but I think she's um, she's actually on placement. She's a student paramedic, so she's on placement on the ambulances at the minute. Rather her than me, she's braver than me. I don't think I could do that job. Oh, yeah. Ross is a really good cook. Yes, thank you, Barbara. Yeah, I do feel like I'm with friends. So, did you did you start your tree? Right there. So, pretty much got. Actually, it looks more like a wizard hat at the minute. Yeah, I'll just um go around and finish that, and I'll. Straighten up the bottom a little bit and then. I was going to do so many needle felting things this this year for Christmas. Like I said, I was going to do... Um... Oh, thank you, Leanne. Keep everything crossed. It's just so... It, it's, it's just really hard. It, it's just that... You, I'm just, you live your life from one three month to the next. I mean, I had my scanning, I had a scan in May and it showed that the tumours had grown. So then I had a bit of radiotherapy. Then I had another scan three months later. And like I said, they weren't going to scan me this time for six months, but I'm just, I, I'm not happy waiting six months. Too much can happen, can't it? In, in three months. And especially with these like pains and things I've been getting out of. It's a bit, 
Just have a... Oh, did you? Yeah, my yeah, my eldest daughter works at the hospital. She's a theatre nurse. She she loves it. Oh, so you you used to work, Barbara, at Christmas. So it'll be nice having a Christmas off then. Thank you. Keep him. Keep everything crossed. I really appreciate all your prayers and just. Oh. I don't really know what if if it does show any anything's grown or any new tumours or anything. I think it'll be a case of chemotherapy um, because I don't think I'll be able to have any more radiotherapy unless the tumours. Unless any new tumours appear where I haven't already had radiotherapy. Um, so I think chemotherapy would be the, the option if. But we'll worry about that if and when. Oh, children's a &E, I bet that's quite... Um, oh, hey, Hayley, how are you? Glad you could make it early, thank you. I was just talking about um my scanning. If it if we don't get the news that we'd like. I was just saying that um I'll probably have to have some more chemotherapy. But we're gonna worry about that after. We're not gonna worry about that now. Oh, what are you cooking? What are you cooking, Hayley? Something nice, I'm sure it will be. Everything you cook's lovely. Hayley's got a channel as well, um, a cooking channel. Mummy Cooks Homemade. Um, some really scrummy things on there. Things that I hadn't even thought of that are just genius. So definitely go check her channel out as well. Right. Oh, yeah, you're doing your 12 days of uh, Christmas cookies. Oh, Irish ginger, that sounds nice. Oh, thank you. What is it? Uh, just want to die, but not leave you behind. Oh, well, that's that was a mouthful. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. No, I won't tell anyone, Hayley. It's our secret. Uh, oh, Boxing Day. Or oh, at least you've got Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off though with the kids. That I, I would, yeah, that's, I always feel for people, you know, that have got young kids and they have to work over Christmas. I mean, I've, I've always been in a, a lucky position where I've never, because quite a lot, of um in the past i ran my own cleaning company for quite a long time um so obviously with that you're not going cleaning people's houses on you know over christmas anyway um and then other jobs that i've had haven't i haven't had to work like over christmas so yeah i've always been quite lucky with that really but it must be hard like you say when you've got oh thank you thank you Haley. So, yeah, so we've got, it's getting there now. Just firm up the, this side and then we'll cover it. I do want to do some more like felting tutorials. Uh, but it's having them, I've just not had the motivation at the minute. I, um, I've been trying to book my booster vaccine um but just you, you you can't get hold of them can you at the minute i'm just saying oh little esme sat watching 
Esme! <laughs> Bless her. Oh. Yes, Kit, Kit, um, Kit sat watching with Esme. That's cute. Yeah, because all, all these videos as well, I think in, in years to come when Esme's like older, it'll be nice for her to, to look back on them all and, and I keep vi like videoing her, so it'll be nice for her to look back on all. Ah, yeah, Jules, that's a good idea. Quite a lot of people do that. Use um, polystyrene shapes like inside to to bulk them out i um i got quite i got a good deal from um barvet it's the make and um, wool duvets and i think i got something like i can't remember but it was really it was a huge big bag and i think it was only 11 pounds so but yeah using polystyrene in to to bulk them out is a really good idea <laughs> Leanne, you can't know it's a secret. So, um, so is did you um did you start your doing your tree then, Jules? Were you going to give it a go, or you're going to try it another time? Right, so. I've pretty much got our, oh yeah, been frugal's good, you need to be, um, we, we have to be, we're um, on a bit of a tight budget, so yeah, like you say, probably what I'll do next time, if I can't get a, a good deal on wool, then like you say, polystyrene's the way to go, isn't it? No, that's it. <laughs> yeah felting definitely is fun but no it and i get, i get too carried away when i start looking at like online at the wool places oh your granddaughter borrowed your wool yeah i don't think you'll see that again <laughs> yeah um what i'm gonna do then i'm just gonna get some of the just some green wool and i'm just literally gonna wrap it around that and then felt it in place like with the needle so i'll just <laughs> i don't know you retracted the comment either leanne what um is there any particular types of videos that that you think i should do in december I've, I have got quite a few ideas of quite a few. Um, me and Caden are going to do a couple of things, which would be nice because I do really enjoy spending time with him when I can get him in. Oh, I don't know if it's a tutorial. I don't know if I'm teaching anybody. I think it was just, I just thought if I... I thought I need to have something to do with, with my hands because I thought I can't just sit here if nobody comes and joins me I'd be just twiddling my thumbs. I'll just grab a quick little sip of my Baileys. Hayley wouldn't mind having a go. I know that's the thing, Haley, isn't it? It's having the time, but now, obviously, I spend quite a lot of my time sat down now. Um, but I know what, like you say, when you're busy, it's you've got like young kids at home and things, isn't it? It's having the time to. But then I think sometimes I think you need to try and find time for yourself, and because I think especially when you've got little kids at home, you get you get a bit lost, don't you? And you lose yourself a little bit because you're. You know, just like everything's about the kids and obviously rightly so. But it, I, I do think sometimes you need just a little bit of time for yourself. 
What do you all think? Do you think... I know, 25 people, I can't believe it. I'm so, honestly so, I'm so thankful to all of you. Thank you. I really do appreciate this more than... I, I, I mean, when I, when I first started the channel, I thought, oh, you know, I'll forget all my friends and family. I might get about 50 subscribers, you know, like get a little bit of a community. But this, I, it's just amazing. I, I, I literally, I, I know like everyone probably gets sick of me saying it, but I literally, I am blown away and by the amount of like support and everything. And, and I know... When things do get tough, um, I know it'll be a lot easier, like you say, having having the support of of everyone. I know it will, because it already is. So I'm just sort of um, felt it down a little bit. So I'm just going to fill in the top and the bottom, and then I'm just going to keep felting it just to smooth it, smooth it out. And it's just really when you're doing it, it's just working with the shape. You know, whatever shape, like obviously when, when we're doing these, it's just applying more pressure at the, where you want it tighter and more compact. Does that make sense? Oh, I do. I appreciate it, Jules. Thank you. Do you know, Leanna, I never knew what felting was until about 10 months ago. I honestly, I've never even heard of it. Oh, thank you. I don't really, oh, I don't like listening to the sound of my voice. When I'm editing my videos, I have to turn it down really low. But I think everyone's like that, aren't they? I don't think many people like the sound of their own voice when they're... <laughs> Oh, that's nice of you, Ross. Bless him. Oh, quilting. I'd love to do quilting. I was saying earlier, I don't know if... Oh, you, you were, I think you were in. Um, me and Kate made Esme uh, a quilt with all the, like, first size clothes, clothes and everything. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't great, but it was lovely and I'm sure Esme will treasure it in years to come. I'm just going to pop and open this window, just two minutes. It's a little bit warm. Whew. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm normally absolutely freezing, but... Um, bless him, rusted me my hot water bottle for my back. And I think I was just getting a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> ah, yeah. No, I, I, honestly, I mean, some, some of the needle felt in... You know that some people do is amazing absolutely amazing i mean i prefer i actually prefer working on 2d let me show you this that i did oh, yeah i actually prefer um doing like you know 2d things this is one i did of our dog needs finishing a bit that but yeah I actually quite like the you know like flat type it's one of my favorites this little robin come in oh night night Esme Nana said night night Yeah, quilting is is something that. Oh, Haley, cookies, more cookies. 
I've got literally, I've wrote a list of, um, from Hayley's channel, I've literally, I've got a list of the things that I want to make. And literally every, every time I go on YouTube and I see another video, something else gets added on my list. Oh yeah, no problem, Leanne. We'll get your boys sorted. Thank you. Oh yeah, night night, Esme. Oh, I didn't think Kate. Um, I didn't think she'd be on because she was. Um, she was on placement today. But oh. I, I absolutely love spending time with Esme, I really do, but she's so, she wears me out, she really does. I mean, Ross is absolutely brilliant with her, and, and if if we've got her, he's always, like, he, he's here, and he, he is brilliant with her, but, whew, she tires me out. She's like a little tornado. She's gorgeous, so she's so lovely. Are you, ask, are you asking me, Hayley? I've got lots. <laughs> Most of the things you cook. Oh, Jackie, no problem. Yeah, hopefully I will be doing some more lives because uh, you've all been absolutely brilliant and made me feel so at ease. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much, Jackie, and I will see you again very soon. Take care. Oh. I've got bone pregnant you oh how lovely so do you do you have a flock of sheep Corey then or oh Haley I can I get back to you I've got honestly like it's it's like I said you keep coming up with things that I hadn't even thought of but the genius so I'm sh I'm sure I'm sure it'll be something like. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Corey. I, I, that would have always been my dream, that to live on a farm. To have like a little small holding. I always, well, to be fair, even, even up until... I was re-diagnosed in 2019. Um, I was trying to convince Ross we should move to somewhere remote in Scotland and just live off the land. Yeah. Yeah, I will do, Hayley, thank you. You're not just a cook, you're a bloody really good cook. It's a fab channel. Oh, Cherry. When um, a few years ago, well, probably about 10 years ago, we lived, um, we had horses. Um, and we lived on like a, a bit of like small holding with my mum, well, my, like my mum and dad. And the, um, we, I wanted some goats just like pet goats um and we couldn't couldn't find any there was none available so we ended up um this lady was advertising some sheep that were gonna end up going somewhere not very nice so i i thought oh we'll go and rescue these sheep so we went and rescued them they were a nightmare <laughs> they kept they escaped every single day out the field we used to have to chase up the road for them and oh Honestly, they were a nightmare. I didn't think sheep could cause so much trouble. Yeah. I suppose, though, if you've just got the what, it's when they follow all the rest of them, isn't it? And the one goes and they all follow, don't they? I suppose if you've just got one, then she probably just follows you about. Or oh, I'll have to see some pictures of the... Um, Baby. So have you um have you put a video up tonight, Haley? Of 
because I haven't I haven't actually been on YouTube but like for a few hours and yeah problem sheep yeah definitely we ended up rehoming them in the end <laughs> there was a vet one of the vets that used to come out to the horses um he bought some land and it had and he had lots and lots of land and he was after some sheep so we were like take them <laughs> so they went and lived happily ever after on his i think it was over on the north yorkshire moors so i'm sure they'll have had a lovely happy life there with him cookies start at 12. oh yeah i saw your stuffed pasta yeah that was earlier wasn't it they look lovely then yeah, because um, Hayley did a thing on her channel today where, like, freeze, like putting stuff in the freezer, you know, because she's got a few problems with the back. Um, so when she's not very well, obviously there's stuff in the freezer, which, why I haven't thought of that myself. So that's what I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to, when I have a good day and I'm feeling quite, like, energetic, I'm going to literally do quite a few meals put them in the freezer hey Rhonda so good to see you I'm so glad you made it how, how have you been Rhonda I haven't spoke to you for a while have I I've probably got messages. I'm, 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 I feel so bad. I've got on um, the video that I did, the NHS let me down one. I'm literally, I have so many messages on there. And every day I sit down and I work through them. But I'm just not getting anywhere and I feel so bad because I don't want people to think that I'm not like answering the messages because I will, I promise I will get to everybody's message. But... I've just been that inundated. Hey Ellie, glad you could make it. Oh, hope everything's been all right, Rhonda. You'll have to um, message me, let me know how you've been. See if I've missed anything in these comments. I had to, I can't believe how many people have like I, honestly. I I was I was watching somebody's channel the other day and I can't remember who it was. It was one of the like ladies that I watch and she was saying that like you know she's got the best YouTube family. I, was, I thought, no, you haven't. I have. My YouTube family are wonderful. And I do. And it, it, it's like when, when I'm answering, like, reading comments now. And, like, I'm rec you know, I recognise people. And it's so lovely because it is just like, it's like, it's just like friends. And I, I, I love that. I really, I love that. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I know, but I also want you to know how much I appreciate the fact that you've took the time to, you know, to, to watch the videos and comment. And so, but thank you. I do appreciate that. I really do. But I do. I just feel bad. Right. I'll show you where I'm at with this tree. So let me show you, like, you can see, obviously I still need to fill this, cover that colour this bit in, but you can see like all the greens now like, like stuck to it. Oh, oh. Ross, Ross said I'm his bestest friend ever. You're my bestest friend ever, Ross. <laughs> I was trying to get, I said Ross should come in and say hi to everyone. But he's a little bit shy. But he has told me that he will do a, um, we're going to do a food 
um, like taste test thing. Um, and he did say he would do that with me, so I'm hoping. I don't know why. I said to him, I said, everyone's lovely, Ross, you'll be fine. Bless him. Oh, Jules, do you know, I, it, it really angers me so much now. It really, really does. I, do, I, I look back now and I, I do, I just think, why? Why didn't I do more? Why didn't I say more? Why? But, and, the, and that that's the thing, there's absolutely nothing, nothing I can do now about it. You know, the time, time, time's gone and it is what it is, I guess. And, you know, I read a quote the other day and I thought, and it said, if you can't, if you can't change what's happening, change the way you feel about it. And I thought, that's it, isn't it? That's, that's all you can do. Oh, thank you. Thank you, honestly. So, honestly, so lovely. Um, I'm going to... I'll put the rest of the green on and then we'll... Get... Um, so does anybody, um, has anybody got any good uh, channels that they recommend that they like watching or? I have, I, I, I watch so many people. Well, no, I don't actually. I probably watch about 10, 10, like, people and... And you, you, you do, you you, re, you get to know these people, don't you? And, oh, thank you, Jules. I know, Sylvia, it's awful, isn't it? And the more, the more comments that I'm getting, the more, sorry, the more, the more comments that I'm getting, the more, like, it, it's just over and over and over and over again. I'm just, you know, people having the same issues. Yeah, it is. It, it 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 it's such a shame, and it's. I mean, when I went for my scan yesterday, I asked them if I could record myself getting getting the scan. I said, obviously, I won't record yourselves. I just literally set it up so it records me. Um, and they said I needed to speak to the legal team, and I don't really I don't really understand why because if it's only me that I'm recording, you know, it's not like, if they're not doing anything wrong or there's, you know, I'm not recording other people or, so I'm going to give them a ring anyway and see like what they're, mm. yeah, I do, Wendy, I really, really appreciate it, honestly, more than, more than you could possibly know. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, it made me cry too. So it's just not fair, is it? Yeah, definitely. I, I do. I appreciate you all being behind me so much. And like you say, and I think, I actually think I feel less, even though I'm probably more nervous about this scan, I feel, I don't feel as, I feel quite, um, I don't know, I feel like quite confident because I feel like, I think because I've got such a good support, like, I mean, I've got an amazing support system here anyway, um, you know, like with Ross and family and everything, but we, with, you know, with all you as well, it's just, it really is, like, fantastic, honestly, I can't. Oh, Team Angie, I've not, to be honest, I don't really go on Facebook that often. I maybe need to, 
when they say you have to speak to the legal team or anything and it will yeah i think you're right Rhonda. and yeah i tried i i even i tried to get a copy of my um medical records about three three months ago I'd, i rang up because i thought just out of curiosity i'd like to see you know like what what they're saying up to date um and they said oh we would you can't have them do well covid's like happening so you, you can't even get hold of your own you can't even see your own medical it's just all a bit crazy that you know when it's your body and i don't know um oh ellie thank you that that's kind i don't I'm not always positive, believe me. Ask Ross. He has to deal with me. Sometimes, you know, I do. I do have breakdowns. And sometimes I really do struggle. I mean, like, uh, Ross is brilliant and he does, you know, he is always there. And But sometimes it's, sometimes it is just tough. It's just really hard sometimes. Yeah, exactly. You are lucky. You're lucky if you can get an appointment in the do at the doctors nowadays. Yeah, I um, we got held up in some traffic yesterday on the way to the hospital, so I tried to ring them just to let them know that it was going to be five minutes late. And it it's just all automated. You can't. You try and oh, put me through to so and so, and it comes up with something that you haven't even said. So, so I couldn't even get through to them. So, yeah, yeah, it is. It's yeah. It's not. Um, right. So there we go, and then. <laughs> no, I know it's crazy. That's what she's. That's that's what she said to me. She said, "Oh no, we're not issuing any records at the minute while the pandemic's on." Um, she said you could try again in a few months. It's disgusting. It really is. Right, I'll just fill this little bit, and I've got a little patch. But um. I mean, I, I even had another. I, I had another incident. I've not even mentioned this and um, to yourselves or anything. But on uh, when when I was re-diagnosed, because um, obviously I was in remission, and then I'd had a scan in in the April of two thousand and nineteen, and I didn't end up getting to see the doctor because she had to cancel. Um, and then I think I wasn't very well, so that I'd missed like one appointment and she'd cancelled one appointment. And then after, I think it was about the August time, I had like my next appointment to see her. And obviously because I hadn't heard anything, you just assume, don't you, everything's fine. And then when I went to see her in the, no, it was in the July, when I went to see her in the July, she told me that the cancer had come back. So they knew that from the April and at no point did she try ringing me or anything. So from April to July, nobody did anything. And I mean, looking back in hindsight now, I should have complained about that. Oh yeah, that would that would have been a bit spooky. Where was was that just like in the in the actual like X ray department? There was nobody there, or yeah, it's a bit eerie, isn't it? When there's like in hot when you're in hospital. Oh yeah, Tiffany thinks yeah she's she's brilliant. She is so lovely. Yeah yeah, she's just. Um, She's just having chemotherapy, isn't she, at the minute? I think she's on about a third, I think, isn't she? Yeah, she's lovely. Ah, uh, yeah, in the scan department. Yeah, that, it's eerie, that, isn't it? Yeah, 
but it it, it worries me a bit how it I know it's all a bit controversial, all this COVID thing, but it, it does worry me. I mean, we've we've been quite unfortunate and we've lost, like, we lost two of my dad's brothers, um, both to COVID within, within about five, six months of each other. Um, so it, it is, it is a worry. It does, it worries me. It worries me with my mum and dad as well, with them being older then. So, it's, so if you, if, so you were there for 15 minutes and no one was there. So if, if you, it's madness, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's definitely no joke, no, definitely not. It's scary. Just have a quick little sip of me. Oh, I've never seen that. I've never seen that comedy channel. Yeah, just sat in there, just waiting for them to appear. But it's it's a good job. Like they they weren't like turned up and said, "Oh, you you're late for your appointment when you've been sat there." Oh, sorry, Jill, to hear that. Yeah. It is. It's. I know a friend of mine as well. Um, she's the same age as me, and one of her friends from work. I think he was. I think he was only in his early fifties. Uh, he had no underlying conditions or anything, um, and he's just sadly died. It's. It is scary. It really is scary. Right. So, it's on me little tray. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the little string. So to do that, we need a, if I can find a really long one. Yep, yeah, so you need a nice long, like, sewing needle like a darning needle i don't think that one will go through but i don't know where i'm at i should have a bigger one than i should have a bigger one than than that but smaller than that but i don't know where it's gone oh ellie don't worry at all honestly thank you so much for joining me honestly i really appreciate it and definitely yeah hopefully i'll catch up with you again very soon Thank you. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Yeah, Hayley, you're right. Definitely wear masks. It is, it is just scary. It's a very scary thing. How long? Sally, I've been felt in for about 10 months. That's all. Um, I think I'll just get some scissors. Yeah, um... Yeah, it was about 10 months ago I started um, and I just absolutely love it. It's just so... The thing is, I think, like you say, I mean, when I was doing that ball at the start when I was supposed to be doing a trainer, I did a ball. Um, you can literally, you just... You know, you can be watching... To, obviously, you've got to be careful with your fingers, but you can. You can get little, um, like, finger protectors, little leather... You know, to hold so you don't stab yourself. But I, I can't use them. But yeah, I, I love the fact you can just... Yeah, bye Ellie, take care. Thank you, BH. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, yeah. It definitely is a political thing, isn't it? Now, Rhonda, it's... I think, to be fair, even in this country, it's... Um, what made me choose this? Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I think I saw a tutorial on YouTube and I just thought, oh, that looks fun. Stabbing wool. Um, and like I said, it was, uh, 
it was Philippa, felt by Philippa that I watched and she just got me hooked. And that was it. I just ordered some wool and I haven't looked back since. Right, I might need to find a different needle because I don't think this one's going to be big enough to thread. Yeah, don't worry, Jules. Yeah, you're right, yeah. You're right, Hayley, it is lethal to someone. Like I say, my friend, my friend's... Um, Somebody she works with, he had no underlying health conditions or anything and he's just sadly died. Yeah, yeah, I used to stab myself quite a lot when I was when I first started this, but thankfully I don't do it as often. I'm just gonna quickly see if I can find a other needle. I don't understand where I've put it. Is it maybe in here? Oh, I found it. Thank goodness for that. Oh. So I'm just going to thread this, if I can. Give me a minute concentration. Right, yeah, so... And then I'm just going to literally put the needle through the bottom and bring it out there top but you've just got to kind of like squish it down really to and obviously just be careful with your fingers and try and get it roughly at the top oh right where's my needle gone it's hard like you know trying to get it straight oh i've jabbed myself there look Say, <laughs> I need an accident book. Okay, I need a paramedic. Mm. Yeah, it's quite easy to cut yourself with these needles. But to be fair, that actually wasn't a felting needle, that was just the darning needle. Right. I might need to just wrap this round. <laughs> Maybe Ross could bring me a plaster. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, I've done this wrong. I have to go the other way. <laughs> yeah, it, it it's crazy, and in in this country as well now they've just um, they've reintroduced. So you have to wear masks again in shops, but you can go to a pub and dance. And you don't have to wear a mask. It's it's madness. <laughs> I'm drinking Baileys. I'm having a naughty little Baileys. I know I shouldn't be drinking, but I thought it's a celebration. Um, I'm trying to figure this out. I've lost my um. I've lost our. Give me a minute while this comes back to me. Right. Yeah, 
I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Right. And then I'm just going to pop it back through. And then pop it out the bottom. One sec. <laughs> I've got a delivery, one minute. <laughs> a delivery from Ross. So I've got my lemon water, a glass and a plaster. I'll just put this on. <laughs> Thank you, Ross. <laughs> Trust me. There we go. Right, let's stick to the water, I think. I've only had two mouthfuls. Right, <laughs> let me get back to this because I've messed this up now. Right, so I'm going to go under the bottom. And out the top. And then pull one of them out. And then I'm going back in and then back out the bottom. And then pull the string. Sorry, I'll be with you in a minute. There. And then I can just tie off the, tie off the bottom. I'll just tie this off. Just see what I'm... I know, he's lovely, isn't he, Ross? Honestly, he's an absolute star. Um... Oh yeah, that must be tricky, that Jules with COPD. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a plaster, I'm okay now. Oh, thank you, Hayley. I've had to, um, I've had to close my, well, take a break from my Etsy shop at the minute because I just, I just don't seem to have the, obviously, because I haven't been feeling great, just not had time to, like, make things. And so I really, which is a shame, really, because I really could have done with the money for, you know, over Christmas and things. But I'll get back to it in January, hopefully. Right. I'll just tidy up the mess that I made. I'm <laughs> trying to put this in. So, yeah, right, so we've got a little, um, it's not very straight, to be honest, but uh, it's the Coastal Fuzzy Felter. I'll put a, um, I'll put the link in, in the description for this video when I'm finished. But yeah, I need to, I probably need to get back to to doing it i was gonna I'd, I'd planned to go and do some craft fairs um at the end of the summer but I just never just didn't just didn't feel up to it really oh silverback oh yeah 
seen some really good felted um, silverbacks like right so I've done the tree I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna do uh, on that one I've got like red like tinselly so I think I might do yellow on this one yeah it will be getting tired <laughs> it'll be getting extremely tired I'll just, I know I don't want to keep everyone all night, so I'll just, I'll just um, do a little bit of this. And well, to be fair, I've only got really to put this round in. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just, all I've done now is I've just pulled a bit of the yellow wool off. And I'm just like thinning it out a bit and rub it together and then it'll just start and see if you like rub it together anyway it'll like not map together sort of thing right and then just start choose the needle and then like you're saying you can just follow any Any pattern, I don't know if you can see that, can you? Follow it round. Um, I'll just get this little bit in and then I'll... Yeah, and then I'm just literally, see how I've like, felted that in. And I'll just go around and then just from some different angles, just stick some bits of tinsel on. Oh, yeah, Christmas candles. Do you do like, um, like decoupage them or your candles? Yeah. Hey, Shauna. Yeah. Oh, I hope I'm not keeping you. I hope nobody... If anybody has got anything that they need to go for, please don't... Please don't feel you have to stay around. Right. I'll just get a bit more. So, what... Um, how does everybody feel about... Um, oh, Jacqueline. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Take care, and I will see you again soon, hopefully. Oh, photographs. How, how does that work, then, with the photographs? Do you just, do you, like, print them onto special paper, or...? Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to... I went through a, I made candles for a while at one point, which was, I really enjoyed that because I, I do like like burning candles and so it was quite nice like having, just having like an endless supply. Oh, it'd be a lot easier if I didn't have a bony finger. Fancy stabbing yourself like that. And then just, you see, I mean, you could do this with any colour. You just decorate it any, you know, anywhere. Anywhere you want, really. I'm just... I'll show you, I'll do these last couple of bits and I'll show you close there. So how, how do you guys all feel about like New Year's resolutions and is it something you do or? I know um, 
I tend not to now. I used to years ago. Every year I'd have, you know, I'd, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to stop this. And it only ever lasts, doesn't it? It only ever lasts like, well, it always did for me about three days. Sometimes not even that long. <laughs> oh, how do I say that? Echo, echo. Hope I've said that right. Welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm just putting some little tinsel on our tree. And then we can put some little baubles on. Yeah, that's uh, that that used to be me, that every every year. Start start my diet in January, go to the gym. I think I've been to the gym. I think I've joined the gym probably about 20 times. I think I've been to the gym about four times. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not really... I like walking. But I'm, well, no, I, I couldn't now anyway, but yeah, exercise was never really one of my strong points. Not something I really enjoyed, if I'm honest. Yeah, that's right, Rhonda, isn't it? It's Sure, yeah. That's, I, I don't set them now. I just, like you say, because it, it, it was like, I'm going to give this up. I'm going to start doing this. And, and, and I never, never stuck to them. Right. Let's have a look, one more bit of this and then we'll see where we're. That was, um, yeah, it's a shame that's not classed as exercise, isn't it? Mind, to be fair, I can't really eat at the minute, which is annoying. I just don't, just got no appetite. I love the idea of food and I love, like, you know, I'll watch it, I'll be like, oh. But then when it actually comes to it, I can't, I really struggle to actually eat it which is annoying it's an annoying because i'm really trying to maintain my weight but it's it's not always that easy and then you've got the issue with you haven't got any clothes to fit you because i've lost all all my weight and so that's i will just say when you watch my videos if i do keep wearing the same clothes it's just <laughs> They do get washed, it's just I just don't have that many of them that fit. Right. Okay, we'll put one more on this bit. Has um, everyone been to work today or just had a nice relaxing Sunday? can hear any noise next door it's just um ross and caden i think they're just on the game right i'll just put this last little right yeah so i've put some like little bits of so like you say, you could put any colour or anything. I just thought I'd go for yellow on this one. And then I'm going to put on some little red baubles. Just have a see these. Oh, yeah. See, jewels. Yeah, that's that's my problem. Like, I start and just start getting a really bad stomach. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, that must be tricky as well if like certain foods don't agree with you. And I mean, I'm quite lucky in that sense that I can pretty much eat like most things, but 
it, it, yeah, that must be hard to... Yeah, I need my um, booster. I tried to tried to get in touch with them last week, but they didn't have anything. I know. <laughs> it's dangerous. Right, and then all I'm going to do for the baubles, I'm just, just going to pull off just... Just little chunks and then I'll just like roll them like in a like ball type shapes and then I will just and then just pop them on and another one should we just have some red baubles Oh, was everything all right with your booster? You didn't have too many, didn't have any ill effects. I, I felt okay, to be fair, after uh, both of mine. I did dead arm with my first one. Um, that lasted about a week, but I didn't, I didn't particularly feel bad or anything. So that was quite good. No, some people have been quite poorly, haven't they, after the jabs? Right, so another couple of baubles. Yeah, yeah, that was, um, yeah, I had, that, that was my arm. Yeah, Hayley, absolutely no problem. Thank you so much for coming on and supporting me. I really appreciate it. Take care, Haley, and I'll yeah, I'll message you. <laughs> Take care, bye. Hi, Nicola. Oh, I'm glad you could make it. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry about being late. Oh, did you, Becky? See, so, yeah, I can understand can understand if you got quite poorly after them that you would be a bit dubious about getting another one yeah take care Hayley talk soon yeah yeah like I said I, I didn't have any problems but I had problems you say my my arm was dead for about a week um and then after that I was fine No, I'm not necessarily looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Right, I'll just... I've put a couple of little... Uh, little, like, red baubles on. <laughs> so I'll put two more on and then we'll do the trunk. I um yeah I didn't know whether to do like a I didn't know whether to do a live like you know again maybe before Christmas um maybe come up with something to you know maybe do and do another live because I've really really enjoyed it it's been absolutely great fun I mean I love I love doing videos anyway. But it, it's just so much more fun when you've got someone to talk to. Uh, what am I doing, Nicola? I'm making a little um, Christmas tree bauble. So I've just made a little... It's not very straight. <laughs> it's a little bit of a funny shape. And then I've just put the gold round just for, like, tinsel. Um, and then we've put some red, like, little baubles on. This was one 
I'd done before, so it was just another one of them we were doing. So, yes, yeah, so we're just going to finish off um, and pop a trunk on. But, yeah, that's what we've just been making them. Yeah, it's definitely, it's very relaxing, Sylvia. It is really relaxing. Right. And then our little stump at the bottom, I'm just going to get just some brown wool. And then I'm just going to roll it. Bear with me one minute. Right. So just roll that up. And then I'm just going to felt one end just to hold it together. This is where I need to avoid my fingers. Get it to hold together and then I can. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I've just like got that just stuck together. And look to that. Yeah. Right, so I'll just hold that in place. And then if I just felt round the outside, it'll just hold it in place and then I can tidy it up once I've... Got it in place. And then just tidying it up a bit just to and then we go there's our little tree bobble <laughs> it's not very straight but <laughs> not bad considering we've I've just um done it like you say you can if you spend more time well you can see like obviously i've spent a lot more time on that one i just didn't want to keep you here all week <sighs> no no that's fine you go i'm gonna get going anyway in a minute because i've kept you guys here long enough Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. That would be lovely. Oh. Oh, how very lovely, all of you. Right, I'm going to tidy my mess up and I'm going to sit down and talk to you for two minutes and then I'll let you all go. So, yeah. So, like, like I say, if you take... If I'd have took a bit more time, would have had something a bit more... But, you know, trees aren't, trees aren't perfect, are they? So, but, yeah, there we go. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry it wasn't a very um, tutorial tutorial, but, um, you know, if, if you definitely, if you, if, if a few of you are interested in me doing, like, some more uh, needle felting tutorials, I could do a few videos just like that as well. Um, just needle felt in. Just have a little. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Oh, um, Corey can have it. It's yours. If you want it, you can have it. Yeah, Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining. Take care and I'll definitely hopefully catch up with you again another time. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, thank you, Mum. I really appreciate that. <laughs> oh, yeah, honestly, 
yeah my mum's just said a lovely comment there um so yeah thank you mum i really appreciate that oh did it i don't know yeah i think maybe the camera probably is a bit tired now um yeah um like i said i just want to say again thank you you've all been absolutely brilliant you've made me feel so welcome um i'll definitely be up for doing another live if anyone you know wants to have another chat sometime um and if you've got any ideas of anything that you want me to do while we're doing a live or any other videos oh thank you corey i really appreciate that and if you i don't know if you if you want to follow me on instagram um or email me i'll put the uh my email address in the comments and and then if you want to send me a message and i'll sort out for getting the tree to you right i won't put you it's just come up with your address now i won't put that in the chat but i'll keep hold of it and I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't worry, I'll get that sorted. And, oh. What's this doing? <laughs> right. Oh, thank you. Honestly, you've all been absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't honestly thank you enough. You've made me so relaxed and been brilliant and we'll definitely do it again um and i will see you well i'll see you tomorrow with something i'm not sure what i'll have up tomorrow but i'll see you with something and i will see you yeah so anyway thank you again uh if you're not already subscribed if you wouldn't mind subscribing i'd really appreciate it um just because it honestly it does help my channel grow and you know, and that's what we want to do and raise some awareness. But anyway, I'm going to go now. Let me just have a... Oh, yeah. Thank you, Corey, honestly. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, BH, Sally, Sylvia, Joanna. Honestly, yeah. Thank you, Caden. Right. Take care, everyone. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.